Good morning, this is Scott Oliver from WeLoveCostRica.com today with some questions and answers. Since we get so many questions from our customers, today we begin a new series of Q&A articles about real estate to help you make the best possible investment, to understand the local market and learn more about buying and selling your home or apartment in Costa Rica. And our first question comes from Andrea who lives with her husband and young son in Chicago and she asks, what is the best way to compare the prices of the homes that we are thinking of buying? And this is a very important question and here's what I would suggest. First, let's assume that the location is equally as good for you and your family, that all three homes have exactly what you're looking for with a number of bedrooms and bathrooms and garden perhaps, etc. If you have a young son, then we're also assuming that all these homes are close to a good school for your son. If you have found two or three homes that you really love and can't decide which one is best for you, then the bottom line surely must be how they compare as an investment. Because if the real estate market in general is rising at X percent per year in this area, to make the best investment you therefore must buy at the best possible price, right? And to make money investing in real estate anywhere in the world, it starts by buying your home at the right price. So in this example, our customer was comparing a new home in a project called Sol Park or Sun Park in Pozos de Santa Ana, built by a quality developer whom we know well and whom we trust. Now Sol Park has beautiful new homes, well built, $197,500 with 162 square meters. So if you divide that price by 160 square meters, you get $1,234. $0.37 per square meter. Now, the other three homes that our client was looking at uh, have different prices. Uh, they are slightly smaller in size, but the bottom line is when you divide that sales price by these square meters, you get the price per square meter. And the project B that our clients looked at worked out to $1,322 a square meter. Project C worked out to $1,354 per square meter. And although it's not in the same area, our customers also seriously consider a home in a big project in San Rafael de Alahuela. But the two bedroom homes there were $130,000, which is a lot lower, but for only $101 per square meter. So that worked out to $1,287 per square meter. So still actually higher than Sol Park, even though it's much further away. But the project regularly has water problems and frankly uh, a few electricity problems and at certain times of the day the traffic is absolutely unbearably slow. So as we can see here our customers decided on Sol Park because at $1,234 per square meter it was more affordable price per square meter. The de developer has a proven track record of building quality homes in this area. They are also convinced that the quality of the construction is superior and we are too, and unlike many developers, they were able to customize their home. So I hope you enjoyed this article. Please click on the YouTube button and then click on the like button to like our video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't like it, click on the dislike button. And please remember that I welcome your comments about the video, about my articles, and would love to hear your suggestions about other videos you would like to see. And of course, if you are in the market for a new home and would like more information about this developer, uh, Sol Park, who also with his new project will be building those hard to find new single story homes, then please do contact our offices today.